But when you look at the West, um, politics is overshadowing a lot, mm. a lot. I believe the political narrative, when people think about China, and they forget about a society of 1.4 billion people. Now, and this is where Zipo comes in, because all these millennials and Gen Zs flocking to Zipo to have a taste of the local barbecue made international headlines. And this is extremely attractive to global audiences. Because global audiences in the, in the West, for example, like my friends, millennials, Gen Zs, they love to see what their Chinese peers are up to. And you know, when, when they saw this happen, and when I told them about it as well, so they had you know, the in, they were like, oh my god, where does this come from? What is this? So it very much goes to show that um, tradition is alive in contemporary Chinese culture. That's one thing. And this is extremely attractive to global audiences. And um, another part is, do you see this kind of phenomenon in Europe? Like happening overnight that all of a sudden hundreds of thousands of people are flocking to one place? I would say no. I have not seen that now, but I think it's also because, uh, yeah, the power of Chinese social media. Mm. It is so much bigger and more overpowering, in a good way, in a good way in this sense, uh, than you could ever imagine in the West. And this is fascinating for people mm. to look at, to watch, to observe. <laughs> Thank you.